up my friends sup so it's purge time yeah man we are gonna go through some knives here there's seven knives out here um but i'm grouping a couple so i mean you could say six but but ultimately it is seven um hey let's just dive in man let's get to it uh the first one up is this kubi this is a Mat Max Tachuk design, stone wash, 14C, 28N, G10 scales, and it's their version. I think they call it a clutch lock, but it could be an axis lock, man, I don't know. There's so many names for it. I mean, honestly, I would go look, but it's inconsequential to me. I don't care what they call it. We all know what that is, right? Yeah, I, I'm not getting down on those weeds. Um... They did, Kubi did change their logo. Look at that, man. You know, hey, I do a full review on this, and uh, I don't know if it's dropped on the channel yet, but I kind of talk about that, about changing logos. I, I remember talking about it. I don't know. Maybe I cut it out. I don't think so. I don't do too much editing. But, yeah, this one functions pretty good. It's got an amazingly deep carry pocket clip on there. And as you can see, the action overall, pretty solid, man. It's got a good thumb flick. It's got a nice spidey flick if I can, you know, the operator gets after it. It's got good ergonomics. I mean, lean, nice contouring. This thing tucks right in. It's got mean jimping on the scales and the spine. Really nice tuck for the thumb here, platform. Yeah, pretty solid. You can reverse grip this thing. Very confident grip right here. It's got jimping on the backspacer. Yeah, not so much here. You can get there, though. Yeah, pretty cool. Kubi Hound. 14C, 28-inch, stonewashed blade. And what am I asking for that piece? I am asking the whopping amount of $35. Yep, there it is. Next, we've got a Tucson... So it's still in the bag because this particular one has not been checked in. Hasn't been disassembled. Brand new from D-Win in China. This is a TS-223 in M390 steel. Uh, Jelly Jerry design. Really nice knife. I mean, titanium liners, titanium scales basically, that have been reliefed to accept uh, this carbon fiber inlay. So super lightweight. It's got a beautiful pocket clip on it. Wonderful milling. It's got micro milling all through the titanium. And I'd call it a bolster, but it's not a bolster. Those are actually the liners as well. And so then it's got this carbon fiber inserted on top. Nice deep belly drop point blade, good blade stock. I believe it's got internal stop pins, too. It does. Yep, that ride in there. Wonderful jimping on the flipper tab. It's the only way in this knife. Very snappy. Wonderful action. And this hasn't even been tuned. This is right out of the oily bag, man. Yep. And the only reason it's going is because, for some reason, I got two of these. Um, I have a bunch of these twofers that uh, I'm looking to move out the, the ones that are doubles. I've got my collection piece, and then this is a double. Yep. Wonderful piece. TS-223 and M390 steel. Yep. There, and I believe there's a review on the channel from the original one. Maybe not. If I purchased the original one a while ago, um, there would not be a video on this. But I, if nothing else, I think it's covered on a two rows of two sons, I think. Um, but I am asking only, only $80. M390 carbon fiber, titanium liners, wonderful knife. Yep, let's come down. We'll pop down here. Uh, I take that back. We're going to go up here. So here I have a Kaiser... This is a KI, come on now, KI4421A2. Still got the sticker on it. And 
this knife represents as new, never carried. It's in great shape. Um, and this is another one that I have two of these. So I, ha I have one in my collection and somehow I ended up with two. So much so that it's still got the original uh, configuration on the pocket clip. These came with the clip on the top. Now, the one that I've kept, I've moved it to the bottom. Yep. S35VN stonewash blade. And this one's on washers. How about it? A lot of these early uh, Kaisers... Uh, I'm sorry, this one's on bearings. A lot of these early Kaisers were on washers. Not this one. This one's on bearings. It's got great thumb studs. Yep. Spidey flick. Thumb flick. Now, it'd be be better if that pocket clip wasn't there. It'd aid my grip a little bit. It's kind of oddball. But, you know, hey, if you go back a, you know, 10 years, it was it was the thing to do to carry tip down. Who knows how all that works, man? I don't know. Somebody decides it's cool and the right thing to do, and then that becomes the trend, right? But look at this anodizing. And then it's got these grass blades milled in, and they are anodized with the dark blue that is also in, I don't know, is that like a bamboo pattern that's in there with a bronze? I don't know. It's gorgeous, though. Beautiful knife. Yep. Excellent action, wonderful ergonomics. I mean, it's got a confident grip. It's got this jimping on the scales. Wonderful, almost three-quarter backspacer, and all this is milled really nice. Very tight tolerances. I mean, it's just a beautiful knife. Some of these early Kaisers leave me going, well, why'd they stop making that? Because it's so nice. Got to choke up on this thing. Yeah, pretty cool. So the KI4421A2 titanium, anode titanium, S35VN, I'm asking 115 for this. And it's got the original box. Yeah, back in the day, they didn't put these in big fancy boxes. They came in these boxes right here. But yeah, old school Kaiser. Let's leave that blade open. How about that? All right. Next, got another Tucson. This is a Tucson TS-192 Mosuan Mokhtar design, 14C28N, and it's a slip joint with a half stop that's just wonderful. I mean, the action on this thing as a slip is just as cool as it comes. Now, this originally was a that drab green old school micarta like that burlap green and so i dyed this purple and i think it's wonderful looks looks a million percent different dyed up purple excellent action on this knife though and the ergonomics man is this thing even though it's a slippy Big, tall, flat ground, 14C, 28N blade that has a great belly, but it also has a needle of a tip here. Yeah, very cool. And it's got a strong detent on that slip joint, which, you know, if it's me, that's what I want. Wonderful fit and finish. Everything fit and knocked down very nice, very comfortable in hand. I mean... I'm not going to do too much other than this type of work with a slip joint. But, yeah, this thing's capable of doing some other things. Wipe that blade off. There we go. Yeah, beautiful knife. Uh, TS-192. And I'm asking, you ready? $28. All right. Next, got a fox knife. This is a fox knife um radius and the wonderful thing about this is this interesting and unique action so you press down on this button and then you can roll that blade closed same thing like it's locked now you press down and you can roll that knife open this action on this is so smooth 
It's wonderful. Very cool. I mean, it's, it's just, it's unique. It's definitely different. Really nice tolerances on everything. It's got G10 scales, G10 backspacer, a wire pocket clip, and it's got N690 steel. These are made in Italy. I even like the little tarantula that they put on them. Pretty, pretty cool, man. Yeah. I mean, it's a unique piece for sure. Um, very nice ergonomics. You can choke up here on this knife. Very solid. Gives you a great grip. Very cool. I mean, it's just different. Right? Come on, man. I like different. All right. So the Fox Knife's Radius G10 N690. These are not cheap. I mean, yeah, they they command a pretty good price. And I have another version of this, this uh, Radius Action. And so I'm moving this one out. But I am asking a solid $100 for this Radius. Fox Knives Radius. Yep. Next, I have a Migron Acri. A-K-R-I. -A and this Acri, I do not have a box for. Okay? And it's got a weird blemish on the black blade. Right there. See it? There's no other marks on this knife. Um, it's in excellent condition. It's never been carried. I mean, it came new like this. I can't find the box. I don't know where the box is for it. If I found it, I'd ship it with the knife, but I don't, I can't find it. I went through all my boxes and who knows? Excellent action. Look at the action on this. Front flipper only. Yep. But. Very intuitive, runs extremely well, drop shut action. It's got a crowned blade, see it? Wonderful crown blade with a needle for a tip. Excellent black blade, black hardware, black pocket clip. Yeah, this thing's murdered out. Black liners, black G10. This thing's stunning. It's a beautiful piece. The Migron Acri G10 14C 28 inch steel, no box. I'm asking $40 for it. Yep, pretty cool. Very capable little. And this thing will take any grip you want to put on it. Yep. No matter how you want to stick it in your hand, it's gonna it's gonna accept it. Alright. $40. Um next and last. So I'm going to do a two for special on these, but I'm also going to offer them by themselves. So I've got the Kershaw Barstow. It's a stonewashed um, HCR 13 MOV dagger blade. It's only sharpened on the one side, but it's sharpened like a razor. This has never been carried and it's assisted. It's got excellent action, excellent ergos, very comfortable in hand. Lightweight knife. It's got a great deep carry pocket clip. Yep. Kershaw Barstow. So I'm asking um, $20 for this. Or I have also have this Kershaw Natrix. This is G10 and it's also HCR 13. Stonewash blade. I believe this blade may have been sharpened and not because it was used. I think I just sharpened it just to see. And it's got a crazy, stupid sharp edge on it. I mean, that HCR. Yeah, ridiculously sharp, this thing. Um, and so I'm asking $20 for this as well. Or, 
here's the deal. I'll take $33 for the pair. No boxes, uh, but I'll package them up. I'll package them up good. So $33 bucks for the pair or $20 each. All right, there's the, that's the gist of it. I appreciate y'all watching through it. If you're interested in any of these, reach out to me at the channel email address. It's discerningman01 at gmail.com. And uh, let me know that you're interested in one of these, which one it is. And uh, I'll get you the details. First come, first serve. And uh, I'll hit you up for some shipping if you want to donate the shipping. If you don't want to donate shipping, it would be the price that I've told you. And it's going to ship to you free. But if you want to donate some shipping, it's usually like right now, it's like $5. I get pretty good shipping. Depends on where you're at. Like if you buy multiples, that kind of thing. But I, right now, $5 kind of covers the shipping. Now, if you get a really big heavy knife, like this is heavier, it could be $7. It just depends on the weight. The package size, uh, these are covered. Yeah, so, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Happy shopping. The members are going to look this over for a couple of days first, and then we'll get it out to everybody what's left. And uh, I appreciate y'all looking them over.